Right out of the USA, a study finds that atheists are more likely than churchgoers to own cats. According to the journal, or according to an article in the Journal for the Scientific Study of Religion, Samuel Perry uh, from University of Oklahoma and Ryan Burge from Eastern Illinois University uh, put an experiment together and found that there was a correlation between how often you go to church and how many pets you own. So they're saying that the more you go to church, the less likely you are to own a cat. So they want to say, like, understand why that is. And all they have, you know, is speculation. Um, they suggest that the answer may lie in social behaviors. If you attend church and you're already a part of a social group, perhaps you have less of a need for pets. But if you're not religious, you might not have a larger social group. Uh, and therefore, you are more likely to own a cat or dog. So this is how both sides could play this game, okay? So you have some facts, and now here comes the opinions, right? So if I'm an atheist, and I want to take the look at this story and like make atheists look good, and we're like, well, because atheists are caring and love more loving if you if you let if you have if you spend less love for imaginary creatures maybe you will show more love to real creatures so that's the spin that you could do for an atheist now i'm going to put my spin as a religious person i could be like well this is because atheists are lonely and they're antisocial and they have no friends because they don't go to church like they don't have a community like ours so that's of course they're going to become the crazy cat lady that uh, this is mm -hmm. like, so see you could just play both games if you if you're bs if you're creative enough you could bs on both sides but what do you guys think? Absolutely. I was well, going to say okay. that... Oh, go ahead, Ali. No, it's okay, Erica, you go. I was going to put this in uh, actually a religious context as to why maybe some religious people don't have animals because of the religion itself. So, for example, in Leviticus, so this is going Old Testament, when God is giving Moses, like, all the rules, um, he says in... Um, 2027 20, that um, if a man or woman who has a ghost or is a medium, depending on the text, and has a familiar, which would be an animal, familiar spirit, they shall be put to death, they shall be pelted with stones, and their blood guilt shall be forever upon them. So Leviticus in that point is saying what's clean and unclean. And I think people who are evangelical especially tend to really hold to these texts at least in the united states very strictly and i don't think familiar so. I cats think, are i i think religious i was just putting it in that perspective that yeah that maybe that's what it is perspective yeah or the cultural concept of witches and cats in particular familiars which are you know, animal spirits, you know, in corporeal form, the yeah. devil in corporeal form. I'm just bringing that into the yeah. consciousness because that yeah. could be part of why people, without even knowing why, they think, particularly cats, are bad. See, the reason why, I mean, it's an interesting idea, but the reason why I don't think so is because people, religious people, don't really care about their scripture. They just care about what their community tells them to care about, about their scripture. That's why they're not that much worried about shrimp, but they're really offended about of gay people, right? And that's why, like, for example, if you go to come to Philippines, divorce is illegal because here they decided to take that part of the Bible very seriously. But then if you go to Amer United States, no Christian in the United States thinks that divorce should be illegal. So it's it's like it's not like they're just like looking at their scripture and just following it like a manual. Like, it's just a religious authority around them that decides what they want to highlight and what they want to care about the most. And they just follow the lead, you know, follow the lead of the religious authorities. But again, it's an interesting idea. Uh, but yeah, it is. Yeah. And from my perspective on this, I find this to be just a negative correlation. Um, a correlation at that, but negative, meaning that uh, this is a coincidence. One doesn't necessarily mm. affect the other. And the researchers, especially suggesting that, that this has to do with being a part of a social group. Well, there are tons of things out there that have nothing to do with religion that are a social group. Are you a part of a knitting circle? Do you belong to a stamp collecting club? Are you in a mommy's group? There are tons of different social groups that you're in that have nothing to do with 
religion. So if they want to say that this has to do with, oh, you're a part of a social group, so per perhaps you have less need for pets, that's not religious. So uh, there, there are plenty of these things that we've found throughout uh, history of this research when we're, we're trying to understand why two things go together. One of those things I learned in, in college for psychology was men in Thailand. They, they did research to find out a whole bunch of different things, but one thing they noticed was that the more electronics a man owned, the more likely he was to use a condom. Now, there can be thousands of different speculations as to why this is, right? But it just turned out to be a negative correlation. It was just a coincidence, because there were many other factors that were the cause of why they would use condoms, uh, and the electronics had nothing to do with it. So I think this is one of those situations where, okay, let's, let's say atheists do tend to own more cats than religious pe people. I think that's just a coincidence, and this might actually uh, revolve around social group behavior. But, by the way, we got another super chat by Angel, and I think we missed another super chat by, that we didn't shout out uh, at the top. Can somebody figure out who it was? Uh, Angel is saying, uh, the t thank you so much, Angel, what $10 super chat. Uh, she's saying, crazy cat, atheist, I knew it. Uh, I have two dogs. But if somebody could tell us which super chat we missed um, above, let me know because uh, I'm sorry I didn't check that out. But another thing, I'm not a very, I'm not a cat person, but I really want the cat in this picture. This is a really cute cat in the picture. <laughs> uh, but, okay, uh, uh, but I, what, what, I want to say one thing. One thing. Did you guys know? I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard a theory that the plague um, could be as a result. Again, I don't know how true this is. So somebody go check it out. But because cats are associated with uh, Egyptian religions and pagan religions, and that's why the Christians associated cats with witches because they associated with pagan religions and they try to mix elements of pa paganism with anything that is non-Christians or anti-Christian, right? So it kind of got mixed with witches and evil things and, you know, being anti-cat and seeing like this whole idea of ca black cats having bad luck and all that came from, all, came from Christians, right? So the, I don't know, can somebody look into this? They say the plague happened because people were killing cats and then removing the cats was l led to the rise of mice which had eventually led to the plagues. Well, if, if that is true then the example I, I usually gave as something that is one of the greatest uh, disasters in history um, I always say like look not every disaster have, has, is a bad religion for example the plague which is one of the worst things that happened in human history had nothing to do with religion so just don't, don't say everything bad is about religion. But if this is true, if what I'm saying is true, then even the worst, like my example is not right because even this would be about that. Uh, the plague happened because of religious beliefs. Anyway, yeah, I've, I've read that. Uh, yeah, first I've read that too. Hmm. Like the killing of cats uh, was a huge factor during the plague. Wow. And what I wanted to say this uh, after this article came out, after I saw this, uh, okay, this was mostly about the U.S., but then it's completely anecdotal. There has been no studies like this in India. It's completely anecdotal, but I went to like uh, some of my close friends who own cats and asked them to ask a few others who own cats. And I, I, what uh, the conclusion I came up with is like everyone, uh, actually most of people who own cats are very likely atheists or non-religious, even in India. And it's got nothing to do with Christianity. I mean, I was talking about tribals and Hindus and stuff. And even here, it has, uh, like, there's a correlation between owning cats and being wow. religious, I guess. Wow, okay, interesting. Beej is saying, we killed the cats that killed the rats that carried the fleas that carried the disease. Oh, wow, that rhymes. Um, so yeah, so, and again, if that's true, then the plague, which... No, no war, I think, no war or no uh, no other disease has ever killed more, more people than the plague, I think, right? If, uh, I think that's it. And if, that, if that is because of religion, if we kill the cats because of re religious superstition, that means that I was wrong and the greatest disaster in human history is actually because of religion. And I used to think it's not, even though I'm an atheist activist. So I would look into that more. Um, anyway. I just wanted to make a comment. I, to me, I thought it was kind of funny that 
when I read that, and I thought, why would religious people not have cats? Being raised, a, 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 having been raised a religious Jew, there's got to be something that God said why. So I immediately, like, it's got to be in Leviticus. And I wanted to bring it up because it just shows you that right. even though I'm a non-believer, that immediately came to my mind from having been raised uh, that way. Okay. That, that was my first thought, like, oh, well, I know that's in Leviticus. So that yeah. must be the re you but, know you know what I mean. So but you were the raised programming Jewish, is deep. Which is, but Christians yeah. don't care about the Old Testament as much as you did, don't they? Right, which is why I was bringing it up. That oh. was my immediate thought: was right, where right. are the rules? The rules are in Leviticus, you know, for right. Jews. <laughs> By the way, That's I'm, all. I just, by the way, I'm surprised that nobody, brought, like us being atheists and stuff, like usually when cats are brought up, somebody makes a joke about cats thinking they're gods and stuff. And, you, you know, almost every animal is atheist. I think, I think you'll find those jokes in, like, in the comment section. The comment section. Oh. Yeah, the cats are the gods. Cats, because every, almost every animal is, uh, is atheist except cats. Cats are not atheists because they think that they are gods. And they used to be. So, and by the way, the comment section for this post is just oh, people posting pictures of their cats. <laughs> like the entire comment section is, oh, somebody put their dogs. That's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> just, uh, just pictures of people's cats and dogs. That's what people responded to this news. <laughs> That's so, so anyway. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, guys, that was great. Uh, thank you to everybody. By the way, Christy is also saying she has four kids. Oh, wow, of course that's a kid. She brought their kid. Look, we have a cat here. <laughs> ah, cats! Um, okay, so, and Christy was saying she has three cats and one puppy. Um, and yeah, everybody is talking about their pets now. That's great. All right, thank you, everybody. I'm, I'm glad that today we ended on a kind of fun news. Usually our news is depressing. So I'm glad that today we had like a more uh, cute, uh, warm, fuzzy news together. Anyways, I, I, thank you for your comments. Thank you for disagreeing with us. Thank you for correcting us. And welcome again to our new co-host. Yay. We're, it was fun. It was great, by the way. You're, you're amazing. This so great, Rika. Thank you so yep. much. Great. And hopefully I've got the microphone muting figured out now. <laughs> no, don't worry. You, you yeah. did so much, so great for, for your first time. Like, I, you know, I mean, seriously, so great. Thank you. And you were so prepared. You had more information than, than me on on any of, on all the news. So that's great. Anyways, see you guys next week. Love you. Oh, no, not next week. Next week I'm traveling. So we're going to skip a week. But I'm going to try to post a couple of other commentary videos on some uh, Iran-related stuff maybe. And some other geopolitical stuff. So look forward to that. But next week I'm going to be traveling. Uh, uh, I'll be back the week after. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.